This is Commissioner Gordon. We have numerous hostile tanks deployed across the city. Gotham is under attack. I want everyone off the streets and back to GCPD. We're not equipped to deal with what's out there. I went full Bloodworth on this one. I got Love notes. It. Notes. So I played and reviewed Batman Arkham Knight. Everyone's checking it out right now. Some people have beat it, some people haven't. We're gonna try not to do spoilers in this. We'll give you a warning if we do ahead of time. But I think I can explain this without getting into spoilers. Uh, I liked the Batmobile. We can just start there. And, and a lot of people on social media uh, and other websites are talking smack against the Batmobile. I like the Batmobile. I like the Batmobile. <laughs> And I would I just want to talk I just want to talk proactively, just turn things around yes. and change up the conversation on the Batmobile. Heck yeah. Because I think the Batmobile is an easy target, pun intended. You know what I mean? It's 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 easy to make fun of because it seems like a really simple dynamic. I actually would, would not into the Batmobile. You know, when they did the VO trailer when they interviewed all the VO guys, they got them like to talk about the Batmobile. It's like, why are the voiceover actors talking about the Batmobile? It definitely seemed like a huge push. All the trailers focused on it. Um, like Two Face, like shot at it. It's like, what are you doing, Two Face? In the cinema, it's like it's the Batmobile. Then got into the game and it actually grew on me. And in the dialogue that's been created on, on the internet, like I just want to counter a lot of problems that people have. Is there anything you want to say right off the bat just about the Batmobile? Uh, no, just generally that it mixes up the gameplay. I don't know if we're going to dive into that later, but that was the biggest thing for me. Especially after going back, I, I planned it out to replay Arkham Asylum and Arkham City before Arkham Knight. And you really just, you notice that there's so much predator mode, combat. Combat, predator mode, predator mode. Go into a room, predator mode. Like, having the Batman or the Batmobile there to mix up the gameplay, and especially in a fast-paced manner, like... It just makes the entire package more fun to play. Kyle, first impressions, Batmobile. First impressions were, uh, I love it transforming. I loved anything that transforms, but the idea that I hold down the left trigger uh, to make it, to go into tank mode, and mm -hmm. then just release it, and I'm back into race mode, it's just instantaneous. I really one, like that aspect uh, of it. One person said, um, uh, someone at The Escapist, unfortunately, which is also in the Defy Media family, said that his finger got really tired doing that. And there were some of those challenges, like the mine challenges, where like drones would keep coming for like five minutes, six favorite. minutes, seven minutes, which were pretty yep. fun. But yeah, you did have to hold down the L trigger. But like- In that there, case, you can switch it. There was, and I think you can go into the controls. Yeah, yeah, you can change it out. But like there was, I don't know, there was kind of a, it's kind of a fun, like kind of joysticky, like like mm -hmm. actually activating that and having to hold it in that position. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times I'd be going at high speed and if you would hit that, it's like an automatic stop. So if you need to make a turn, you know, and you can't like drift into it yeah. and you need to slow yourself, you can just go into battle You can mode. do a 180 almost instantly. It's fun to like yeah. jump, land, you know, just like the Transformers games, like transform in midair and then like mm -hmm. land. Okay, uh, so I have six points. Let's get to six the notes. Okay, we here we go. As quickly as possible. All right. Huber, you have a couple of concerns. I want to address those before the end of the video. And okay. apologies to everybody because Batman's just my favorite thing ever. Batman uses guns. Calm down. Stop it with this <laughs> gun argument with everybody being like, with being like, oh, but he does it. It just totally goes against just everything that is Batman. Yeah, like that's an easy argument to make because you see, like, you, you see the thing animate. Like, you watch it in a trailer and the cinema, like, rolls out and, like, guns pop out and everything. And it's just like, that's ridiculous. That's flamboyant. That's not Batman. And you play the game and it's like, oh, yeah, there's a thousand tanks wandering around yeah. the streets. Go get the Batmobile. The vibe <laughs> makes perfect sense. This is definitively the end of this saga, the end of the trilogy. Trilogy. This is all out war. This is not Batman versus one villain, battle of wits, battle of the mind. This is. World War Three on the streets of Gotham. The Batmobile right. makes perfect sense. Which I can understand people being like, that's not pure Batman. It's like, sure, but it is Batman. It is something that he would do. It is how he would react. Yeah. Uh, he does use brute force. He has used guns in the comics. Like, he's never used it to kill people, but like he has opera. He uses a cannon, for Christ's sake, to get around like the city. Like, he, <laughs> he is, he, he, he uses, which will bring me to another point. Batman always reacts with equal or greater force. Like that's Batman's thing, and like they made fun of it on the animated, uh, the uh, television show because they're like, "Oh, shark repellent," but like that's Batman. Like that's why he would piss off these, you know, all of his nemeses because they would set up this trap and like, no, he's gonna get out of this, and he would have the exact tool because he's like, "I know you, I know how you work, I know how to prepare for this stuff." And the Arkham Knight, if you you know get into the game, you, you know you'll find out more when you find out who that is. You know, knows Batman, like knows you know his his patterns and how he operates. So it's like. I'm gonna do what no villain has ever done before. I'm gonna drop, again, a thousand drones on, on Gotham, which I can understand seems like a simple kind of boring thing to do in a video game. But to me, it was like so much better than like Two-Face like robbing a bank or like Penguin, like, oh, I'm gonna hang out in my, my lair. It's like, 
I'm going to see what Batman does. Yeah. I'm going to see. I mean, Love he's got it. this cool Batmobile. Like, let's take it for a spin. Like, and the, I thought those were some of the most difficult sections in the game. And that was one flaw that I that I you know I could have rated higher than a 9.0. But that was one you know like notch against it was that it's not that hard of a game. Like, with, especially if you played like the three arcing games before this, you're just so glued into the combat that like I just kind of breezed through a lot of the sections in the game. Where like some of those drone parts were really tricky. I um, upgraded my Batmobile first. Shields. Just taking things down. Get your shields up for sure. <laughs> yeah. Shields and the medic thing, but that's combat. That's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've never played a tank game like this. I've never like moved a vehicle that way. It's weird. It kind of it kind of reminds me of Geometry Wars, and like you're constantly moving, like constantly balancing a 50-50 split between movement and shooting. You know that like I have to focus on these things. Give me on that. You haven't had a vehicle like this in any game. Right. That you can just hop into. It'll always come to you. You can hop into it. And it's like offense and defense. I actually really like it. Help me out, guys. Okay, what? What is that arcade tank game from back in the day when it was four cabinets put together and you were versus you were you was like four against this four? This is why we need to be live because we just wait is twenty this, seconds. Is this yeah. top down? Is like top no, down? No, you're in the tank and it ha it's similar because you can move this way but move the turret. I've Kinda never remind. played that game. Okay. I mean, I don't mean Sorry. to be ignorant Sorry. as far as awesome yeah. indie games are concerned. I'm sure, sure there's games Sorry. that have done, you know, <laughs> s systems like this. Yeah. But again, just being able to, like, immediately pop out of this thing. One thing that was a simple treasure that I really learned to, like, you know, love the Batmobile was uh, when you would do the, uh, you do missions in the game where they're walled up and they put a, a different kind of combination of soldiers inside. And then you have to take those down, find a guy who has a receiver, and then pop that thing and the walls will come down. And you don't have to take everybody out. You just got to find that receiver. So if you like can figure out who the commander is, or you take that guy out and can kind of like, like sometimes I would jump out and everyone would go running to one side of it, and then I'd like run around and then hop around the wall and just grab the guy's communicate. And I like I only took out two guys. Then the walls come down. Then you can use the Batmobile and hitting that button and having that thing fly in, which was always such a treat. Like that visual thing of Batman jumping up and like landing in the Batmobile, and then there'd all be all these soldiers scattering and like turrets freaking out and shooting at me, and I'd just blow everything up. Yeah. Um, yeah, again with brute force. Like it just didn't seem weird for Batman to do that because one thing about how people have been criticizing, they're like, "I'm a huge Batman fan. I don't think Batman would do that." It's like, then what would he do? How would he answer that threat? You know, if 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 helicopters were patrolling the city, if all this stuff was happening, like exactly. you can't be as simple of an answer as like, "Oh, he would just know and then sneak into their lab beforehand and disable all the drones and stuff." I just really like the idea of him matching all of these things, and there's just, there seems to be. I'm rambling. There seems to be like a natural lore set up with, all of, with, with typically how adventure games challenge you in video games and how all of the challenges you have in this game are specifically tied to villains. Just like it cracks me up that you're like hunting for Riddler trophies and it's like, I don't imagine the developer, I literally picture the Riddler going out and like placing all this stuff. And to me, it seems like a legitimate threat, like I said, to Gotham to have, you know, this much military might come at Batman yeah. and Batman not like shirk it or, you know, have like, oh, I have anti-drone repellent, but actually like get in the thick of it. And to use the, the excuse of, oh, I'm a Batman fan, th this wouldn't happen, like, you don't want something new? This is such a new, unique twist. I mean, Arkham Asylum is like your classic Batman versus Joker in the Asylum. Arkham City is like a no man's land situation. And this was just a really cool, interesting take on Batman. I mean, they've been making these stories for like 70 years. I thought it was, I thought it mixed it up and it was awesome. So. Am I off base, Kyle? Before I wrap things up, or any, any... So as someone who's not a Batman fan, I don't have any of those ties. I don't mind it at one bit. I'm surprised you're as into this game as you, as you were. Like, you definitely jumped in and, I mean, it'd be, and wrapped it, it up. We'll be getting way off track, but what I like about this game is it's about how crazy Batman is. Because, yeah. like, that's what I, is missing from a lot of, like, Batman stories mm -hmm. is, like, hey, this is a crazy man. He's crazy. He's on edge. And this game's willing to be like, yeah, he is. Dude, the beginning yeah. of the game, the very beginning with the, the tire over the guy's head. Yeah. He has no patience. Yeah. We are at war. What did you think of the platforming? <laughs> I, I saw a comment on social media where they were like, platforming with a Batmobile is stupid. And I thought those sections were kind of fun. There's one Riddler thing in specifically where you have to like, suspend yourself like a really huge distance mm -hmm. and like, rotate these huge things. I thought mm -hmm. they were cool. There were not fun. very many of them. So that is a weird right. thing to, uh, to attack because they're they're, they're just Batmobile's so under frequent. attack, you guys. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, there's just so few of them. Uh, finally, one last thing before I wrap things up: the Batmobile is stupid. <laughs> you know, I didn't the Batmobile's see this real dumb. Inherently, <laughs> the Batmobile as a concept is dumb because 
if you look at Gotham, you look at the way Gotham is designed, like Gotham is a bunch of really, really tall buildings. So it'd be really easy for Batman to like set up wires, use his grappling hook, you know, fly around with his, you know, even though Batman's never had the like taut cape fly thing that like this series in Dark Knight added, like he did have like, you know, gliders and stuff. So like he was able to get around that way. And it's like, why not, why why would you ever, maybe a motorcycle, maybe, you know, like maybe he and Robin and Batgirl, they all have motorcycles so they can drive around. But like, only two Batmobiles in the history of Batman have ever been designed that aren't at least two lanes of traffic, like t- like size wise, and that's the '60s and the original Batmobile that was just like a, an Oldsmobile that had like a bat head on the front. All the other ones are just huge and gaudy and ridiculous, and it's like why why would you? T- it's like oh, I'm gonna go back into town to fix that. It's like you're you're, you're you live that far away from Gotham with traffic, and you're gonna somehow get what are you doing? We're gonna park it. What? There's so many logistical things that make <laughs> no sense whatsoever about the Batmobile. So it cracks me up that like everyone's attacking those now just because it's included in this. One game. They're like, I drive around and I smash stuff all the time. It's like, then you're a bad driver. I don't have to tell you. Like, you're clearly, you know, going Trevor style and just like bombing through stuff. Um, so yeah, the Batman's just big and gaudy to begin with. So but I like, don't buy that argument. It is practical in many instances. You use it to transport people a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's practical now, and that was so gratifying. Like one after yeah. one, it kind of reminded me of the original mercenaries, like yeah. bringing these people in, kidnapping them. Yeah. And, like, Even when you're rescuing people them. too. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, no, to wrap no. things up, it also, like, it, it wasn't handled perfectly in the game. Like, I get what people are talking about, and I, I tried to raise that criticism in the review that, like, it, it, it's, it's, it's shown too much, they focus on it too much. The way, like, the Batwing comes in and gives you upgrades, like, why didn't I have these? That's always kind of an mm-hmm. issue that I've had with the Arkham games. It's like, what, just, just go well, in with everything. Just try that, you know, my, especially after Asylum and City. The only criticism I had, I don't know if you were going to bring it up as well, the, some of the side missions. Right. Like, a lot of the side missions and the payoffs and the bosses without getting into spoilers, use the Batmobile too much. Um, that was my only the only complaint. Was maybe it was a little too much. But if if you know if I lived in Gotham and I had to like move out and go to Aunt Susie's place in Pennsylvania and I was watching on the TV all the crazy stuff was happening and I saw Batman roll on the Batmobile yes. and like take all these guys down, shut down scare yeah. like I'd be I'd be supporting them all the way. So so go Batmobile, I'm a fan. Um, you can also, you know, get that info from my review. Thank you, Huber. I know you'd be on my side, but thank you, Kyle, for for getting on the Batman train. I can't hate on the Batmobile. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm into it's, it. <laughs> it's 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 a flawed creation to begin with, but a super fun game. Uh, thank you for the conversation, gents. I built this course in a sewer, detective. You needed the home team advantage. <laughs> <laughs>